Hi everyone, welcome back to the IT and Psychology YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be discussing the exercise solution for chapter 5, server side scripting, also known as PHP. We have already made a video on the installation for the XAMPP software for Windows for the use of our server side scripting. You will find the video for that in the, the link for the video in the description. And if you have any doubts pertaining the topics taught in this video, or the topics that will be taught in future videos or have been taught in the past videos, you can contact me on telegram via the link given below. You can DM me if you don't want your doubts to be public in the group as my ID would be Dev Mahe as the admin of the group and we have already completed the SOPs for our chapter 1 and our chapter 3 that is for advanced web designing as well as advanced JavaScript. And we'll be moving forward to completing our chapter 5 because first uh, we'll be uploading the excess solutions for chapter 5 and 6 as required or as demanded by our students in our telegram group as they required it immediately. So we will we'll be uploading here and the concepts explanation will be uploaded shortly in a week or two so that we'll be quickly completing our IT as well. So, firstly, we start with our fill in the blanks. Question 1. Question 1, sub question 1 says PHP is dash sites script scripting language. This is evidently seen in the, uh, the topic PHP is server side scripting language. Then we move forward to our second question PHP is dash language, that is, there is no need for compilation so the answer here would be php is integrated sorry interpreted i apologize for the wrong answer interpreted language that is there is no need for compilation then we move forward to a third sub question a variable starts with sign followed by variable name dash sign followed by variable name so the answer here would be a variable starts with the dollar sign followed by variable name. Then we move forward to a sub question for and dash is a variable which can hold more than one value at a time. And dash. So the dash would be filled in by the word array that is also a variable used in PHP and array a r R A Y is a variable which can hold more than one value at a time. Then we move forward to our question number sub question number five. Information can be passed to functions through dash. So the answer here would be arguments. Information can be passed to functions through arguments. So the answers have been noted down here. I hope you, you are able to see these. This document itself will be posted in the Google Drive link you will be able to see for our SOPs in the description. So just click on the Google Drive link and you will find yourself in the folder for uh, this chapter. It's PDF for uh, exercise solutions. So then we move forward to our question to state true or false. Our first sub question or our first statement being PHP is platform dependent scripting language. This is a false statement. Let me move forward to our second uh, statement. Dollar underscore post is an array of variables passed via the URL parameters. This is a false statement as well. Then you move forward to our third statement. A function is a block of statements that can be used repeatedly in a program. This is a true statement. Then we move forward to our fourth sub question, our fourth statement. PHP cannot be embedded along with HTML tags. This is a false statement. Then we move forward to our fifth statement. Get should never be used for sending sensitive information. This is a true statement. So now we have completed our uh, true and false. We move forward to our next portion. So if you wouldn't if you wouldn't have followed up uh, with the statements correction I have said now, I have listed down the answers over here so that you guys can see them in easy pointers. 
or you can just pause it here and just note them down with a pencil in your notebook as a use of pencil in the text sorry in the textbook would be better than a, the use of a pen in the textbook then we move forward to our mcqs multiple choice question this is for only one correct option this is our question 3 then we start with our sub question 1 the program file of php have dash extension so the answer here is evidently option b dot php the program file of php have dot php extend extension so this is our answer then we move forward to our next sub question sub question number two a variable declared on dash a function has global scope where is it it is outside so option a is correct over here this is our correct option option a a variable declared outside a function has global scope then we move forward to our third sub question the dash function returns a part of a string this answer is option c substr close brackets so our option c is correct for this question this mcq so i have noted them down uh, here as well the exercise solutions you will be able to see them and we move forward to our question number four multiple choice question where there will be two correct options for every mcq so we start with our first mcq the dash and dash are valid data type in php so the answer here is the integer and the array are valid data type in php so our correct options would be option c and d integer and array then we move forward to our second question second mcq single line comment in php is possible using two slashes and are this comment so option a and option b are correct so we move forward to our question number five where we'll have three correct options for each mcq we start out with reading our first mcq in php three types of arrays are dash dash and dash so the answer here is in php three types of arrays are option a indexed option c associative and finally option d multi-dimensional so a c d are the correct answers for our first mcq then we move forward to our second mcq the scope of variable can be dash so the correct answer here would be option a local option b global and finally option d static so ACD and ABD are the correct options for the MCQs that have three correct answers. So this was our question five. We move forward to the bigger part of our exercise that is question six, brief questions. With starting with our first one, explain any two features of PHP. So we'll start out by reading the answer. PHP is most popular and frequently used worldwide scripting server so, side scripting language following our features of php so we have uh, noted down only two as only two features are asked for and this is explained so you need to explain each of them you don't need to state them like you, do, you just don't need to write the answer or the names for them you have to explain the names as well so we'll start out with the first data type that is the simple data type it is very simple and easy to use as compared to the other scripting languages. So these are the features, sorry. These are the two features. Then we have the interpreted. It is an interpreted language. There is no need for compilation. So if you would have aced in the fill in the blanks where you know that it is an interpreted language, you have gotten the second pointer for our brief questions, first sub question. So then we move forward to our second sub question. What are the rules to declare variable in PHP? The following are the 
rules for declaring variables in PHP. So out of these, a minimum of three would be sufficient if the answer is for three marks. According to the marks, you have to write the rules. So I would suggest memorizing all of these, but you would only use either three in the finals because these are just brief questions. So three to four may be asked only. So we'll start out by reading the first pointer. A variable starts with the dollar sign followed by the name of the variable. Second pointer, a variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character. Pointer number three, a variable name cannot start with a number. Pointer number four, a variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. That is lowercase a, sorry, uppercase a to uppercase z till uh, zero from zero to nine and underscore. Then you move forward to our fifth pointer. Variable names are case sensitive. For example, dollar age that is in our lower case and dollar age in our upper case are two different variables altogether. So these were the rules to declare a variable in PHP for our brief questions. Then we move forward to our third sub question. What is server side scripting? What do we absorb from this information? What is it actually? It has been explained in five pointers. So again, I would tell you that only three to four pointers need to be memorized as this is a very easy explanation. The first pointer says a server is a computer system that serves as a control, central control of data and programs shared by clients. Second pointer, the server side environment that runs a scripting language is termed as a web server. Pointer number three, a user's request is fulfilled by running a script directly on the web server. Pointer number four, it is used to provide interactive websites. Pointer number five, programming language for server side programming are PHP, Python, JSP. So this is what we absorb from what server side scripting is. Please interpret this as uh, the concept explanation will be uploaded shortly. So this is a hard topic to study. Then we move forward to the listing of the supported data types in PHP. So you only need to write four to five, but as asked by, uh, according to the mass marks that are required for the question, accordingly, you need to name the supported data types. So first would be a string. A string is a sequence of characters. A string can be any text inside quotes. You can use single or double quotes. Integer and integer data type is a non-decimal number between minus two, 147, 483, 648 and two, 147, 483 and 647. So that is all in minus and the positive part so float floating pointing point numbers a float pointing floating point number is a number with a decimal point or number in exponential form then you move forward to our next data type that is the boolean a boolean represents two possible states true or false yes or no etc Array. An array stores multiple values in one single variable. Then we have the last data type that is null. Null is a special data type which can have only one value. Null. A variable of data type null is a variable that has no value assigned to it. So this is zero. Null. Explain any two string manipulation function. So as only two are asked, we'll be naming only two. That will be our first one. Sterling returns the length of a string. That is total number of characters. str underscore word underscore count close brackets counts the number of words in a string. You can name the others as well as these. This is a very easy question. So this was our brief. Uh, Brief questions. Now we move forward to our question number seven. That is write programs for the following.
questions. So write up the first one being write a PHP code which calculates square of any number using form. So now you guys can actually no uh, I'll pause the video. Uh, you guys can pause it here as I'll show you the code and we'll show the outputs in the next video as I'll show you these outputs with the SOPs so that we can understand what PHP actually is and how we can understand the whole concept of creating or accessing server side scripting at uh, how it's created as how it's created so that was our first code then we move forward to our second code write a PHP code to, con uh, to count number of words in a given string so this is the code for us then we move forward to our third question create a website with two php web page in which each web page is connected the first page of the website contains two form fields for taking name and password from the users on on click event details of form should be displayed on second web page so this is our first part of our code and then we'll just scroll down to the last part and this is actually a question mark and a closed angle bracket so this was our code for our uh, php or uh, that is the question 7 codes for our php uh, write programs for the following so this was our exercise for our chapter 5 so if you want access to this pdf you can uh, click on the google drive link given below and it will stay, uh, take you right to the google drive where uh, all of this has been saved this pdf for our exercise solutions you'll find the exercise solutions there you'll find the sop solutions there and the playlist of the videos for sops will be mentioned in the description and if you have any doubts please feel free to contact me on telegram via the link given below and accordingly we'll be uploading the concepts explanation in this week and we'll move forward with a better score in our boards so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe again please stay safe take care and enjoy